Hi guys, it's KJ the MI Tech Guy here, and you've all seen the tech side of my life with the reviews and comparisons, but you haven't really seen what I do regularly on a day to day basis, which is attend school full time. So, in this video, I'm taking the camera off the tripod and I'll be taking you around to show you what a day in the life of an MIT aerospace engineering student is like. Huge shout out to Bagsmart for sending me some really cool bags and backpacks and for sponsoring this video. Now, I'm gonna go eat some cereal and head to class. I'm walking to campus with my roommate Sebastian. Since we both live on the Boston side of the river, we have to cross this bridge pretty much every day. It's around half a mile, but it's, it's a pretty nice walk, especially during this time of year when it's not snowing. Right now, I'm heading to my first class, which is microeconomic theory and public policy, and it's pretty far away. I have to walk probably another half a mile after I get across the bridge. It's over. It's around 9.03 right now and I am running a bit late, but since all our classes were on MIT time, the class doesn't really start until 9.05, so I shouldn't be too late. So, I think we're good. So that class was pretty interesting. We basically learned the pros and cons of a federal earned income tax credit and whether it incentivizes someone to continue to work or work less. And basically the conclusion that we came up with was that it might be a better solution than say increasing minimum wage. Right now my class isn't for another 20 minutes so I'm probably just gonna chill in the unified lounge and just relax. Now I'm off to my next class, which is dynamics. So we just got a dynamics lecture. How was that, Humby? I'm still thoroughly confused. I don't know what's going on, but that's half of MIT. True that, true that. So now we're heading to the stud and we're going to try to get some lunch. I think Humby's trying to get some snacks from Laverty's. Yeah, Laverty's is the place to go for snacks on campus. They got everything. Everything from Tylenol to coffee. So heading over there now, fuel up for the next lecture. Protein. Getting those gains. <laughs> Sorry, mom. So I found Johan, and now we're in line to Anna's to get a burrito. Yes. What you gonna get, Johan? I'm gonna get a super burrito. Guacamole. Same, same. A little bit of spice. There's not really too many bad options here. Everything's pretty good. I eat this many days in a row. So that was a really nice lunch to just kind of de-stress from 
my other two classes and I only have one class left so heading to automatic control right now. Should be a pretty good lecture and uh, I'll see you on the other side of it. So we just got out of our automatic control lecture. I'm here with my friend Sam. How was it? Hey, it was pretty good. You know, some parts of it were, were easy to understand. It could have been a bit better, but it's all right. Tell you what, let's go to Lobby 7 and see Kevin and Humby. Yes, MIT and college in general is stressful because there's a lot of work to do and a lot of responsibility to maintain. But taking those moments to just relax and maybe have lunch with friends or just talk with friends on the sidewalk really makes it so that you could just go on about your day and not really feel too stressed or too overwhelmed. Like yes, everybody's struggling, but taking that second to just talk to some friends might make the difference in whether you're going to have a good day or a bad day. So I just finished catching up with my friends and right now I'm just going to head back to the house and probably get some work done maybe do a little relaxing, just listen to music. So I did come back intending to do work, but I was pretty stressed and overwhelmed, so I just took a nap, ate dinner, and played some ping pong with the bros. And honestly, that's something I really recommend, just taking a moment to relax. Even at a place like this where everybody's constantly working, constantly studying, it's okay to just relax sometimes. But on that note, I do have a problem set due tomorrow, so I'm gonna head to campus and I'm gonna do some work. Obviously, it's already gotten pretty dark outside. I'm expecting a pretty long night. It's around 8.30 now, and I haven't started this problem set. But I know we can get it done. I'll have my group of people to do my work with, and I think we'll get through it together. Here at MIT, it's important to find places on campus where you could just sit down, focus, and get some work done. And it's equally as important to have a group of friends, preferably in your major, that you'll be able to work on the piece that's on and just collaborate and have a good time so you're not too bogged down as you're doing the work. Right now I wanted to take a moment to talk about BagSmart, which is a company that made this video possible. I'm a huge fan of their multi-purpose bags and backpacks, and I actually use them whenever I need to take my gear around campus for a shoot. Today I wanted to specifically talk about this accessory bag, which I'll have 30% off coupons in the description for. These accessory bags have slots and straps to keep all of your cables, chargers, and SD cards well organized, and the bag itself looks really good and is extremely well made. It's something that I can put into my backpack to make sure nothing gets tangled and everything is always available when I need it. So it's around 3.35 now. I got all my work done. I don't know if Sebastian got all of his work done. <laughs> but we're heading to the house now. It's actually raining quite a bit. I forgot to bring my umbrella. Honestly, these types of days happen quite often where we're walking back pretty late at night. But we know the end goal is a engineering degree from MIT and honestly, I think it's worth it. Hi guys, so I'm back at the house and I really just wanted to give you guys the most realistic picture of what a typical day in the life of an MIT student is. It's not really that glamorous. There is a bunch of work to be done, but that also doesn't mean we don't have fun and we don't have time to talk to our friends and we don't have time to just relax. At the end of the day, the goal is the degree and do we know that's top priority, but we also make sure to take care of ourselves, or at least I hope so. Um, 
I didn't want to sugarcoat this day or do anything out of the ordinary just to make it an interesting vlog. I just wanted to be able to take you guys around and show you what my day is like. So if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to make it happen. This is episode one of A Day in the Life of an MIT Engineering Student and I'm signing off.